Oh, my cracker just dropped. Oh dear, that's a shame. Oh, I'll put something up there like in next time. My name is Kate. This is a charity shop haul. I've got loads of things to show you. So I've been gathering stuff, I think for the last four weeks or five weeks. And um, so yeah, this is going to be quite a large haul. I don't have time to try them all on, but I will show you all of my amazing treasure that I found. And then um, I will be wearing it in vlogs and I'll put pictures on Instagram of the different things that I find. So I promise I'll do that. I do all kinds of hauls. If you haven't seen my videos before, Poundland hauls, charity shop ones and car boot sale uh, videos as well and vlogs. I do weekend vlogs and I'm going to be doing vlogmas and it starts on a Saturday doesn't it so the first video will be here on Sunday so I'm going to show you all everything I found I think most things are from yeah Great Yarmouth I think most things are from Sue Ryder actually and a couple of things from Scope Charity Shop in Tolworth there's a one pound clearance shop so I'll show you some things from there and before I start I've got to do my mug of the day which is just sitting here it's um, a chip mug of the day a Disney chip mug and I didn't have this one I had a different version and um, so I've got to say thank you very much to Charlotte Column who sent me this um thank you it's so sweet and Charlotte really helped me out um starting my YouTube channel in January and she was sort of um suggesting I do more car boot sale hauls and people were interested um so thank you Charlotte for helping in the beginning and thank you again for my lovely chip Disney mug of the day and I've got a cup of tea um, they didn't, this doesn't feel like a coffee cup, it's more of a, a little chip tea cup and I know lots of people don't use these um, but, but I am because I just, I just wanted to and I wanted to show him off so I'll just have my cup of tea and then I will get into my car boot sale stash. I've just painted my nails so I want this to dry because then you can't really touch your hair can you or touch the thing so hopefully it will dry very quick. It was only one coat, I haven't got time for two coats, just the one coat, come on dry! <sighs> And just before I start, if you haven't subscribed yet, do it now, it's free as well. So before I um, did YouTube, when Toby used to watch it when I was younger, I didn't know how to subscribe, but it's free and you just literally subscribe, you don't have to pay anything, you just click it and it's all yours for free. Um, oh yeah, my top is from um, Sue, uh, why am I doing that? Sue Ryder in Goulston and it was £3.50, I think it's new look and it just says little black sweat and this nearly made its way to Amy we did a collaboration and we did like a, a clothes swap of 15 pounds worth of charity shop items I'll link it below just in case you didn't see it um and she got me some lovely uh, lovely clothes so thank you Amy once again but I kept this one I, I almost it almost went to Scotland but I, I really quite liked it so it's mine okay so I'm going to start off with um an item I found in Tolworth in Scope. It's like a clearance charity shop and I've mentioned it quite a few times before. It's been in a lot of vlogs as well. I love it. So when I go and visit my dad, um, I always go to that one pound charity shop because it's brilliant. But it's a Starbucks travel mug and these are quite expensive, aren't they? Starbucks, you can see it there. Most of the bric-a-brac in the Tolworth clearance shop is around 50p. I think most things are 50p. Um, and this, I think it's brand new. It's got the price tag on the bottom, 14 pounds. 25p and I don't think it's been used so I'll give that a wash um, and I think it's going to be quite a good well insulated um, travel mug and Lee will love this um, because he has a coffee when he goes to work every morning so I got that for 50p. I found this in Sue Ryder in Goulston it was a pound and it's for your straighteners so I've got a really good um, straightener thing where I put my straighteners in it and it protects them when I'm at home but when I sort of go to my dad's or when I go off to gigs I haven't got anything. I was worried when you put it down on the carpet or you put it down on a table. So I thought this would be brilliant as a little travel, you know, straightener container pouch, heat protection pouch. This is a lovely cushion. So this was um, in a Sue Rider in Goulston. It's quite a posh make. I've never heard of it, but it's got this price tag on. So I think it's brand new. So it just, there you go, there's a little price tag there. 25 euros Euros, Maisons du Monde. Oh, I have heard of that. That is a really good um, shop, isn't it? I don't think I've ever been there, but I've seen stuff online. And I just love the fact it's got these little like tassel pom-poms. It's gray and like mustard yellow and white. So that'll go in my living room. And these are my colors, they're my colors. So I'm very happy to have found that. And it was two pounds as well. So a really nice bargain. And to go with it, I've got this lovely blanket. Um, it's from Ikea and I've got to wash it. So I haven't washed it yet. Um, but it's again the perfect colours, it's really snuggly and I think my friend had one like this um, when I was younger so I'll give this a little wash but yeah it's from Ikea, that's the one, it does smell, it smells a tiny bit so I will put that straight in the wash but it's lovely, that was £2 as well 
for the blanket and the cushion and they go really nicely um, together. And again, that was found at Sue Rider in Goulston. Um, I just realized I've got another blanket, which I totally forgot about. So I've seen these um, blankets everywhere over the last couple of years and I thought, oh, they look kind of funny. And then I've never bought one. But when I saw it the other day, I was like, I think I need that in my life. It's one of these mermaid blankets with a fish tail. So I think I've, these have been on Facebook. I've seen them, I don't know, just on loads of adverts, I think, as well. I see those slankets, they call slankets when people put their arms in them. I haven't got one of them, but if I saw one in a charity shop, I'd probably buy it. Um, but I have seen people um, with these on, so you just get yourself in like the fishtail, don't you? So it's a grey um, blanket. I don't know where it's from, I'll have a little look, but your feet go out the bottom, so you're not like trapped in. And then this goes along your body. I have to, I'll, I'll do a vlog where I'm wearing it. And then this pulls up like around your neck all snuggly and it's gray. So they're my colors for the living room. So that was two pounds as well. I don't know where it's from. Oh, what I do, there's something here. It's probably, oh, it's New Look. That's where it's from. It's a New Look one. I found some lovely scarves lately at the Sue Rider in Galston and I got one the other day when I um, did the behind the scenes video. So I uploaded that on Sunday, Sunday morning. I'll link it below just in case you didn't see it. But basically I went behind the scenes and saw where they put all their stock and how they did their window dressings and yeah, just got a little bit more information about the Sue Rider charity shop in Galston. And I also did a bit of shopping because I, I kept getting distracted by everything. I was like, yeah, ooh, ooh. So um, I picked up a couple of bits, including this scarf, um, and it was two pounds and I've worn that quite a lot. It's really nice. I don't know where it's from, but um, I love all the leopard prints. It's very, very in right now, isn't it? I feel weird saying that, but it is like people are wearing it on Instagram. I'm not very good with fashion, but I just see what people are wearing on Instagram. They're like, oh, I need to look out for that. So that was two pounds for the scarf. And I got a lovely hat the other day when I was with Mr. Carrington on, when did we, oh, it was last Wednesday. So last week we were there and having a rummage in the charity shop. And I'll link the vlog um, in the description box as well, in case you haven't seen um, when me and Mr. Carrington went shopping, we went to Home Bargains, we went to Sue Ride in Galston. And yeah, it was great fun. And also Ewan put on his vlog, which is also really funny. And it shows us being fools in the charity shop and like we had these fart guns. So I'll link those below in case you got time and you haven't managed to see them so far. But anyway, I got this last week and I think that was two pounds for this hat. And it's really cozy. I think it suits me. It's Mountain Warehouse. I'm not, I'm not sure where that's from snow but it's really snuggly and i've got a white scarf actually so i think that will look oh that looks terrible if i put it down it might look quite nice i don't know yeah that's quite nice isn't it it's cozy and it's got little like bobbles on and a nice pom pom i picked up a couple of dresses in the tollworth charity shop the one pound clearance shop and this one is a h and m it's kind of more summery but um i really liked it and i thought for a pound i can't really leave it behind it's a black and white dress um oh, i thought it had pockets no it doesn't have pockets but it's just quite a nice simple dress and it fits really nicely it's quite long so this would be great for the summer or i could wear it in winter couldn't i with some boots um i don't know if i'm showing that very well but it's just really soft cotton dress that kind of goes in and then flares out a little bit but just really lightweight material and i picked this up and i'm hoping it might be able to or might look like a pinafore if i wear like a polo neck with it it's from oasis Again, it was a pound from Sue Rider, and it's kind of, I don't know if you can see, like it's denim, and it could pass off as maybe a pinafore style dress. What do you reckon? I could team that up with like a yellow top and some tights. That might look quite nice. And I like the fact it's got a little um, button here. It was probably sewed on actually. I think someone just did that themselves. So it doesn't like flop open. So I will definitely wear that at some point and it fits nicely too. And the next three items I found in Caster Sue Rider and they do a three for two most of the time. I found a lovely bobble hat and scarf. This came as um, like a set and it was four pounds for the scarf and the hat. But I managed to find three things so it works out at um, I think it was eight pounds so two pounds 67 so two pounds 67 for the hat and the scarf and that looked really nice together so and even maybe no Toby can't would he Toby could probably wear that it might be a bit pink for him but um yeah so that I'll definitely definitely wear that like in December or Christmassy and probably in during vlogmas as well in during vlogmas you know what I mean and then I bought this um as one of the three for two things and it's from oh hang on where was this hat from I don't know. Oh, yes, I do. It does tell me Sainsbury's. Yay! Okay, um, this is from New Look, I think, this top. Yeah, New Look. 
and it's a cold shoulder top cold shoulder polo neck top a black one obviously um and yeah i think i bought a skirt with it so this looks nice on actually it's a navy skirt i'll show you properly but i think they'll make quite a nice outfit with the scarf and hat that would look quite good wouldn't it with tights and boots so it's just like a ribbed um top a ribbed top with the shoulders cut out and it's quite thick um too and this skirt is from i think it's sainsbury's oh no it's new look new look size 14 and it's kind of i don't know what material that is but it's like a bit rough like tweedy but not tweedy um and this has got pockets and that fits really nicely as well i'm a bit funny with skirts but um that looks quite nice on so yes i will wear that very soon if you can see that i will wear these i promise in vlogs and i will show you um sue rider again in galston this was four pounds fifty it's a very posh i've never had anything and um, by this make before sea salt cornwall i'm quite excited to have this dress because it's a good make isn't it it's kind of like fat face white stuff is it along those lines but it's really nice really nice pattern um and i think i'm going to keep this for the summer i think so it wouldn't feel right wearing it now i think it's more of like a summery thing it fits really nicely because i wasn't sure it's um size 14 and i thought it might be tight around the waist and a bit funny or like around the belly area but it's really nice it sort of fits um it goes in then it flares out again it doesn't cling um and that goes down to kind of my knees so i think that'll look lovely in the summer and it's got pockets yay big deep pockets it feels quite jewelsy i do like a, a jewelsy dress with the big pockets and that's quite like that so that was four pound fifty and where's this from i think this is bernardo's it was 199 this is a dress and i've been saving this for ages i don't even think i've tried this on i'm not sure but it's quite a pretty dress um so i can wear this like on a night out or i can probably just wear it with like boots and tights it's quite christmassy sort of a blue glitter if you can see that and it's from topshop and it's size 12 so 199 from bernardo's um and it i think it's kind of knee length so i really like the look of that and i hope it fits nicely i can smell my best buy from here that's a little clue for you it smells amazing um, right this jumper is a christmas jumper it's from boohoo size medium to large and where was this from sue rider three pound fifty this was galston as well and i think i got this when i did the um, behind the scenes i think i picked this up then it's just lovely isn't it a really sweet christmasy jumper and that feels brand new you know like you i don't even think it's been washed or worn it's just like perfect condition and another couple of things from sue rider in galston so i found this when i was with mr carrington last week as well it's a clements clements riberio riberio that's the make if you can see that um and i have bought this make in TK Maxx before and I think the jumpers are around £25 so for £3.50 I thought that was um, a really good buy and it says it's cashmere I love cashmere and it's just really soft and I do like stripes as well so um, it feels really cozy I don't know if that's 100% cashmere let's have a little look oh and it's got the little things at the side so it won't cling hopefully 100% cashmere it feels really soft um, yeah so i've not owned anything cashmere so i felt like splashing out i say splashing out it was three pound fifty and it's got cute little buttons on the shoulders yeah it's just lovely that one isn't it really nice and i found another leopard print jumper the other day and i was really excited i love this so much it's like a primark one um that i nearly bought a few months ago and i'm so glad i didn't because i think these were kind of waiting for me i did buy another one another leopard print jumper that's in the wash i've already worn that in vlogs and stuff i found that when i did the behind the scenes um charity shop video there and this one's from peacocks it's size medium and i got that on wednesday when i was shopping with mr Karen carrington and it's really squidgy it's super squidgy and it's just really nice and i love the fact the neck is quite high so it's not like um a roll neck but it's quite a high neck if you can see that so i love that £3.50 for this peacock's jumper. I do like a squishy jumper. Squishy, squishy. I've never owned one of these before and I will use it for when like I need, I've got heavy stuff and I need like a rucksack. I found this Kath Kidston amazing backpack rucksack. And I've got another bag in um, this exact same pattern that I bought um, new, I think it was like a year or two ago, and it's got the little stars. I've got a dress in this as well, this material, or well, this pattern, I mean. It's just so pretty. 
Um, and this was five pounds for this Kath Kidson bag. So I was really lucky to find it. And it's, you know, I've got a lot of bags. I've got a lot of bags lately, but this one is a rucksack. So I shall use that when I need like a heavy, when I'm carrying a heavy load. Right, I'm gonna show you my next best buy. I think this is still my favorite buy. It is just amazing. And um, the other day when Mr. Carrington was here, we, we had a glass of wine in the evening and we were passing this candle round and just smelling it because it smells amazing. It's a white company winter candle. I'll just let that sink in. I can't believe I found it. It smells, you can put it in a room and it, the room smells. But you know, I think it's 20 pounds new. And I would, even though it smells amazing, I would never spend 20 pounds on a candle because then I'd never, I don't think I'd ever use it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna, no, I will use it, but I kind of wanna just keep it because it's just so lovely. This was two pounds. Again, I found this at Sue Ryder in Goulston. If you live locally, you've got to go there and have a look because they have just, I mean, I go on about it all the time, but the the stuff they have, it's just amazing and it's laid out beautifully, but I, I know I always say that, but can you just look? I'm so glad I found this. And also, can you imagine if um, me and you were in there and there was this white company candle we would have had to do like rock, paper, scissors and one of us would have probably cried <laughs> who didn't get it. So I was so pleased. We were like smelling it the other night and it, it is absolutely beautiful. So if you get one of these for a present, you're very lucky or if you find one of these at a charity shop. The next one I find, I really want to find, I don't think I ever will, maybe one day I'll find a Jo Malone candle or like, yeah, at a car boot sale or something from Jo Malone at a car boot sale or a charity shop. That's what I want to find because I'll never buy those like brand new, but that would be a good find. But I love that. That's amazing. And yeah, it smells beautiful. So I'm so happy that I found that candle and all my other treasure from the charity shop. And that's everything I've got to show you in this charity shop haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I found like amazing treasure and I'm now going to wash them and put all the things away because they've just been waiting um, to show you in this haul. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, let me know what you thought the best buy was. Was it the candle? Was it the bag? Or was it one of the other things as well? I do love this um, Starbucks, Starbucks, Starbucks um, travel cup. I think that's great find as well. Um, yeah, so let me know what your best buy is from this haul. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a like. And what videos I've got coming up? Poundland for Friday. Talking of Jo Malone, they've got loads of like, um, what's it called? Not rip off. It's a, a dupe, a dupe, isn't it? So they've got loads of dupes of Jo Malone. And I was a little bit obsessed with the, with the room spray the other day for a pound and I was just spraying it everywhere. Um, so I'll show you all my Poundland finds for Friday. And I bought quite a few of the candles as well. They had like the Jo Malone style candles. And then Vlogmas will begin on a Sunday. That's when I'll upload my first video. So obviously it's the 1st of December on Saturday. So I'll film then. And hopefully I think we're gonna be putting the Christmas tree up and getting all like Christmassy. I can't, it's so quick. It's happened, to, I thought I had loads of time and all of a sudden, vlogmas december is nearly upon us and i can't wait i've got lots of stuff to plan though so i've got to do all that and get my like jumpers and my mugs all ready and then yeah it begins for, on sunday and then every day up until the 24th of december isn't it so i'll vlog every day um hopefully it won't be too boring because i had at the weekend i was like editing it thinking this might be really boring so hopefully there'll be some fun stuff during vlogmas anyway thanks very much for watching i'm waffling on now and i want to go and have another cup of tea so yeah cheers for watching and i'll speak to you soon bye